Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Piper McGinley, and I am the Associate Director with California Campus Compact. I want to thank you all so much for volunteering to serve as a reviewer for the Continuums of Service um, proposal. We're so excited to have the conference going. Um, for those of you who are just joining, if you wouldn't mind putting yourself on mute, and that way I can make sure that everyone can hear me and there's no background noise, that would be great. There will be a time um, as I go through the instructions for how to do the review, um, where you could ask questions and you can also feel free to type some into the, the chat function. This um, meeting is being recorded because I'm going to put it up on our YouTube page and send it out. All of you will get the link as well as people who are unable to join us today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, some of you may have seen this. We just literally in the last few minutes made this announcement, but the um, deadline has been extended for the, for the proposals. So instead of being due this Friday, we've extended it by one week so that um, folks have until September 21st to submit their proposal. We're still anticipating getting a big batch of proposals in um, in the next day or two. We already have a quite a few in there. So the, the, um, the proposal review process, which is your job, is going to be starting um, as early as um, probably early to middle of next week. Um, after our call today, I'm going to send you some written instructions so that you can have them to refer to as you go through. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, so you're going to be receiving two emails, probably Monday or Tuesday of next week from Submittable. And Submittable is the platform that we're using for everyone to submit their proposals and to conduct the review process. The first email is going to be to invite you to join the Campus Compact Western Region team. So when you do that, you'll be taken to um, a login page. And if you don't already have a login, um, you'll create one at that time. And that will be your account. That will be how you access the proposals. Once you have that, shortly thereafter, I'm going to be assigning you your proposals to review. Um, and before I do that, what I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen so that um, you all can see what this email is going to look like. Here we go. For those of you on the phone and not on email, you can consult, um, you can check out the, the video later if you'd like to. Um, Let's see, here we go. Does, let's see, hopefully you're all looking at um, an email. It's just gonna be a general email and it'll be from Submittable, um, from notifications at Submittable, and it'll say this, you have been granted access to the Campus Compact Western Region Submission Manager team account. Click here to accept this invitation. So that's where you wanna click and set up your own account. Um, once I've been able to go ahead and do the assignments and assign you the proposals to review, you're going to get a second email, which will say, hi, and then your first name. You've received a new assignment from Campus Compact Western Region. Review your assigned submissions here, so you would click here, and that would take you to a list of everything you've, um, that you've been assigned. They will also be listed individually right here. This is just an example, so I only have one um, assigned, and that would be this session. Um, but this is how you're going to be able to access the sessions. Um, let's see. So I'm going to stop this share, and I'm going to sh now go on to Submittable so you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Let's see. Here we go. All right. So this is the um, sign-in page of Submittable. So you'll click here and sign in. And we're going to sign in as um, one of my colleagues, so you can see exactly what this is going to look like. OK, so it will have up in the top right corner your name. And um, if you are using Submittable for other things that, you know, in your work, you'll just want to make sure that you're in the team account that says Campus Compact Western Region. Um, so that's how you know you're in the right spot. And here is where everything will be listed, um, all the, the proposals that you've been assigned. 
So um, you, you should expect somewhere between six to 10, rough, roughly six to 10 proposals. And I'm gonna show you what the review questions look like in just a moment. Um, the, you'll get the first batch, as I said, early next week, and then you'll get the second batch um, probably, let's see, Tuesday the 25th, um, because with the extension of the deadline to Friday the 21st, then we'll need to turn it around and um, get them all assigned out to you. Each proposal will be reviewed by at least two reviewers. Um, and since I'm gonna go through manually and do the assignments, I'm hopeful that I won't accidentally assign you your own proposal to review. If that does happen, um, please just email me and let me know and I can certainly switch you off of that, unassign it and assign it to somebody else. <laughs> Likewise, if you feel like you're unable to um, do any of the reviews for any reason, please just let me know and I can go ahead and reassign them to somebody else. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and look at the review questions. So you'll click on the title of this session. So for you all, there'll be a longer list here than just this one. And the proposal you'll see here on the left is the sample one. And on the right is um, where you will be do conducting your review. So here are the instructions. Please review the conference theme statement prior to reviewing the proposals. The conference theme statement um, and in fact, I would probably, if I were you, print out the whole RFP just so you have all the information that the um, submitters were working from. If you go to the COS website and go to program and events, right here, RFP, that will be the link that will take you to a PDF um, that goes into greater detail around the different questions that we're asking in the call for proposals. So I would print that out and just have it as a reference next to you. Hey, Piper, quick question. Does the RFP list the, include the theme statement, um, if you just print out that document? I'm almost positive it does. Let's look. Yes, it does. So here's the theme statement. And then for, the, for submitting a proposal, you'll see here there's um, – here are the goals, and underneath the goals are some questions. And these are the questions we wanna see some reference and answers to in the call for proposals. So this, this page in particular will really be your guide in determining does this fit within the theme of the conference or not. Um, so you'll look at the theme, and here you'll see the title, the, the presentation category that they're applying to do, they'll write their abstract, the description, theme alignment, then they'll have some a narrative, keywords that they've selected, the presenters, the presenter bios and photos, and whether or not they're applying um, or think that their, their workshop or session will fit into one of the institute embedded tracks. Um, again, in the RFP document, you'll see that we have a section on embedded tr institute tracks. So community college is one, equity and social justice, contemplative practice, and anchor-based, and anchor and place-based institutions. So if, um, let's say I submitted a proposal and I thought it really should belong in an equity and social justice track, then I would have checked a box, and you'll see that um, um, in the proposal here that they think that, for example, this one, fake one, thinks that they should be in the community college track. So you will be evaluating that as well. So let's they say- don't, I'm sorry, they don't have to. That's an option. They're not scored on whether they are or not, right? That's right. Okay, so let's say, so you've had the chance to just sort of review the, the proposal. Then over here on the right is the re proposal review form. So generally, overall, is did you find that this proposal was compelling and interesting? Will it engage individuals in the community engagement sphere from various stakeholder groups? So let's say, let's say this one was good. Maybe it wasn't A plus the best one you've ever seen in your life, but you think that it will be a draw, it's relevant, and um, you can imagine different stakeholders attending it. So you would click the, that button. The next category is relevant and significant. Is this, a rel is this relevant? Is it applicable, meaningful, and valuable contribution that aligns with the conference theme and speaks to the guiding questions, which again are located on the RFP? So let's say it's okay, it's, we'll just mark acceptable. The next one would be originality and insightfulness. 
Is it current, thought-provoking, cutting-edge, or groundbreaking? Um, we can say, yes, this one is excellent. It's the best I've ever seen, very cutting-edge. Then we ask about a question on clarity. Is the clarity of the proposal, does it provide detail? Is it organized and focused within the constraints of the 200-word proposal description? So we did limit it to 200 words which I believe is roughly two-ish paragraphs. Um, so were they able to get their whole point across in, um, with those constraints? Good. Is this proposal in the appropriate concurrent session category? That means presentation category. So when you're reading the proposal, does it seem like a 70-minute workshop? Or do you think, you know what, it's actually better suited to do um, a seven-minute um, cause talk? So we're asking you to just determine yes or no, is it in the right one? And if the answer is no, then if you um, had a suggestion of where, what kind of session it should be, you would put it here. So let's say, let's say yes, it's in the right one, but just so you can see, these are all the things listed. Um, so, and then the different session types are also described in the RFP. So the difference between a skill building workshop creative arts workshop, knowledge creation workshop, and story session workshop, all of those will be in there um, as well. So you can really have a sense of, um, is this in the right session category? Next, we ask you, if this proposal was suggested for one or more embedded track, please signal which, if any, you believe is appropriate. So you can look and, and sometimes, let's say this one suggested they want it to be in the community college track, but you think it would be a better fit in the equity and social justice track. You can um, put that here. So we want to know what you think. Um, and if, let's say, they think they should be in the community college track and it has nothing to do with community college or the others, then you would write none. So that signals to us don't even consider this for any of the tracks because I don't think it's relevant. Um, the next question we ask you to do is a, is the overall um, session review. So excellent, very good, good, fair or poor. So we'll just say this one was good. General comments, this is what you, where you can put, you know, I would have liked to see this such and such, or um, really great um, variety of stakeholders as presenters. Anything that you think is important for us to, ha to know. Um, and then if you have any <clears throat> specific suggestions for feedback um, to the presenter, you know, like if you are accepted, it would be really great if you had a student share their perspective since your whole proposal is on students in community colleges. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is something that we might share with the presenter if, for the ones that are accepted. We, um, so that is the end of the, the review. So you have two choices. You can either save it as a draft and come back to it. Um, so that's right now I'm going to save it as a draft and it's saved. So, and let's say I wanted to review all of my sessions before I finalize anything. So I would use this arrow to get back to my list and I would just select the next one down on my list and review it. And so you can also, let's say you get interrupted while you're reviewing a proposal, you can save the draft halfway through, um, go and do something else and come log back in and get back to it and it will have saved your work. Um, it's up to you how you wanna handle um, the proposal review process in terms of, you know, some people like to review the, their whole entire list and then go ahead and submit. Um, some people like to just to finalize it and do it one at a time and not compare them one to the other. So it's, we're really um, going to let you determine how you think is best, how you feel most comfortable um, in terms of when you're going to hit finalize, send it to us. So let's say you've had a chance and you've you've decided you want to look at all of them before you finalize your reviews and um, you've looked at them and you think this one actually isn't just good, it's now excellent. Then you change it and it's not just acceptably relevant, it's excellent relevant. Um, and those are the only changes you wanted to make, then you would click finalize review and then you're done. Um, and then you would use this arrow to go back up to the list and make sure you hit finalize review on all of the ones you've, you've um, done. So 
you have you will have until October 5th that's the the deadline for um, all the proposal reviews to be in we are we and the directors of all the Western Region compact staff are going to come together to um, review all of your feedback and all of your comments and then make the final determination um, of who's accepted and who isn't and um, then communicate that with the presenters so your this first pass um, is super important in the process particularly um, since you'll be you know the sample person attending the conference we want to make sure that that it's something that's relevant that it's something that you would want to go to as well so I'm going to stop sharing right now and um, see if there's any questions. I see two in the chat box. Can the proposals belong to more than one track? Um, oh, yes, they can belong to more than one track. Absolutely. Any other questions? You're all muted, so if you have questions, particularly those on the phone, you'll want to unmute yourself. All right, doesn't seem like we have any, oh, let's see. How many a piece do you think we'll get? We're anticipating somewhere between six to 10. And you saw the form, it's not super intensive. It shouldn't take a huge amount of time. I might, you know, if I have to end up um, reassigning a, fair, a bunch for whatever reason, I might come back to you and assign you a couple more. Um, and you can always tell me like, oh, I can't take these on. Um, and, but every time you, I assign something to you, you will get an email, that email from Submittable. It says, you've been assigned, you know, such and such. So you'll know. Um, you'll know if another one has come through to you but I would say around six to 10. We have something like 40 reviewers participating, um, which is fantastic. It's a good sample size. Let's see, it looks like there might be another question. Oh, should we review the proposals in relation to the other ones or on their own merits? Um, I would say on their own merits, but sometimes as a reviewer, it's sort of hard to do that. You start comparing them in your head, which is why we're gonna let you decide um, if you wanna finalize them, finalize your reviews all in one batch at the end, and, um, or if you wanna just go one at a time and just finalize them as you go, and it's just on their own merits. Um, you know, overall, we'll have 100 to 200 proposals, so it'd be difficult to kind of, um, evaluate them as you know within one another so I think mostly going with their own merits but it's okay if you compare them a little bit to the ones in your batch good questions and I think I mentioned this but um, or just assumed but you all know that um, just because you're a reviewer you should you, you can certainly still um, Submit proposals yourself, and I'll just keep a watchful eye and make sure I try not to assign it to you. Um, but definitely feel like you can submit proposals as well. It doesn't preempt you. Let's see, any other questions? I will be your main contact person for this process as we move forward. So if we have, if you have any other questions or when you get your reviews and you think, I forgot how to do this part, please just let me know. Um, I am mostly accessible, like the best way to reach me is over um, email. Uh, it's a faster way for me to respond to you. Um, but if we need to set up a time to talk, that's just as well too. Oh, I just saw another question. Are we likely to get proposals all in one track or across tracks? You will be getting them across tracks. I, I'm, we barely, I mean, we look at them to make sure they're complete proposals, but we don't want to look too closely at them before we get your feedback on them. So um, it'll just be as they, as they come in, I'll just start assigning. And so there won't be a, they won't be organized in any sort of track way when you get them. And Piper, will you be sending this link since it's recorded? You'll send this out to everyone, right? So yeah, I mentioned that at the beginning. I'll send out this link and some written instructions. Great, thanks. Um, probably later today, even. Um, community college people will be getting community college truck proposals. Well, 
I think not, not specifically and not only. If, if I see community college ones come through and I know that you're a community college person, I will attempt to match that way. But um, part of the reason why we have the proposals reviewed by more than one person is that so we can get the different perspectives on the different types of proposals that come through. Um, so I'll make some effort as I'm able to, to do, to match that way, but it's not going to be a fully coordinated effort. If that makes sense. All right. Well, this is exciting. Um, you'll get your first assignments early next week. Um, the email to um, for you, inviting you to submittable will come in the next few days, and um, I'm really looking forward to working with you all on the on the process. Um, and as I said, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks, everybody.